Good Monday morning. I'm Zeb Fima, Research Analyst for Action Alerts Plus, here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Portfolio Analysts Jeff Marks. Catherine and Jim are out today. Jeff, let's get right into it. There's a lot going on uh, in, in the week ahead as we head into um, G20. Tensions are increasing with Iran. What's, what's one thing that, that uh, you know, viewers need to know for the week ahead? Well, I think there's a lot of uncertainty right there and sort of like the best thing that can help you sleep at night is just having some dry powder on the sidelines. That's what we've been doing for Action Alerts Plus, which I'm sure, uh, you know, we've heard Jim say on and on again, uh, you know, through this, through this, uh, uh, you know, through this uh, video, how, yeah, 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 through this video and, and how, um, you know, we've been raising cash. I think it's your friend here. I see the market went for open positive. Uh, looks like it's negative now. Right. So. You know, we are overbought. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty with what we're going to do next with Iran, uh, G20, if there's ever going to be some type of compromise. I, I, I don't really see it uh, this weekend, but who knows? You know, the optimist in me wants, would like to see it. So I, I think the best thing is just to hold some cash and, and be ready to buy on a pullback. Right. And to that point, we actually did do two sales this morning for members of Action Alerts Plus, which we'll be discussing in more detail on the Action Alerts Plus members only call shortly after this. Uh, Jeff, if we just switch gears real quick, so we had El Dorado confirmed to buy uh, Caesars, uh, Caesars Gaming for for twelve seventy five a share. When you include the debt, you're looking at about twelve point three billion dollar merger. Uh, the largest. Uh, th this will form the largest company as far yeah, as U.S. Huge, gambling huge assets. New company, yeah. So, first first off, let's just ask, what does it mean for competitors like Las Vegas Sands, when you know other other names in the industry? Yeah, so I mean, I think I think the deal is pretty interesting, right? You have Caesars, who wasn't really operating too well, going merging with Eldorado, who's just a better operator. Um, you know, I, I, I think it's a it's an interesting time right now for like the whole Vegas and gambling community because you have the legalization of sports, sports gambling spreading across, slowly spreading across the country. And you have gambling uh, in other areas kind of moving state by state by state. So um, if you want to play that sort of multi-state gambling exposure, I think this would kind of be it. Um, if, you're, if you'd rather look at some of the more focused names who are centered around Vegas and, and Macau, that's going to be your win. That's going to be your Las Vegas Sands. So um, I, I think if you're trying to size up the, you know, the, the two different sets of companies, it's, it's really you got to know what you own and what you're investing in. So El, El Dorado is going to have that broader exposure. And, and uh, again, win, win is just much more focused. I mean, uh, you know, they're really in Vegas, Macau, and they just opened up a, a, pro a new property in Boston over the weekend, which, which I hear is very nice, um, Vegas-like. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, th that's sort of what you gotta what you gotta know there. Right. And in this space, would you expect any more big uh, big deals for 2019, or do you think this is kind of it for for, for at least the time being? I think for the time being, this might be it. Um, again, it's it's the industry is very evolving right now. Just so, would I be surprised to see another deal? Perhaps not. Um, I would have to see kind of more what's available for sale, things like that. Caesars was pretty available for sale. You had Carl Icahn pushing for a sale for multiple, multiple months now. So this was kind of, I wouldn't say shocking when I first saw it. Um, so we'll leave it at that. All right, and Caesars is our real money stock of the day, so be sure to get over there. Check out Kevin Curran, where he's covering it from all the different angles. Again, real money stock of the day, Kevin Curran, who you want to check out. Jeff, uh, Jeff. Let's switch up uh, gears real quick. Uh, 60 seconds, we've done this before. I'm gonna throw out three names. Just give me real quick, what's one thing uh, that members need to know? And these names are all reporting earnings this week. So first one is FedEx. FedEx, I mean, that's gonna be commerce. Um, I, this is a, a very important conference call when it, when it comes to the Fed and what they should do. Um, I am, you know, FedEx also has a, pr a pretty big international presence it's, as well outside the U.S., which might not be great. I, I know in, um, I think China is almost trying to blacklist the company now. So um, it, you'll really have to see the conference call. Well, bad shipments with Huawei. Commerce. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it, it's just it's just commerce. You have to see how, you know, how goods are transacting. Right. All right, so FedEx, definitely a global macroeconomic kind of a proxy for, for, for activity. Let's switch it up to a semiconductor one, Micron. Yeah, Micron, I mean, an, another kind of name when it comes to the sort of like the new age economy in terms of, of, of semiconductors. Um, they're, they're the building block there, so you'll have to see. I, you know, Micron's very interesting because it's very cheap right now, but usually when a stock is this cheap, I, I think it's low single digits times earnings, you're, you're going to be worried that earnings is, it, it's not the P that's too low, it's the E that's too high. So that's what you got to be watchful there. Right, and then switching it up one more time, going to the home builders, Lennar. Yeah, Lennar. I, all these, all these three names report Tuesday. So this is like, if you needed new uh, 
commentary from like the Fed on what the Fed might do. It's you, you got to read these through conference calls. Um, but uh, for Lenar, Lenar, you know, I, I'm not sure how this quarter will be. I know the weather was kind of bad, um, but with rates so low, we'll have to see if they are, are forecasting a better recovery of the housing market. Right. And that's a big one we've been watching over at Action Alerts Plus also is the, the mortgage rates. We own Home Depot. Uh, Lenar is definitely one that's going to be sensitive to that. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Guys, that's all the time we have for today. If you're watching on the street.com or on the Facebook Live page, uh, we're about to switch over to the paid members call over at actionalertsplus.com. Be sure to check it out. Also, I know you're wondering, Catherine Ross will be back Wednesday morning. See you tomorrow.